I'm dreaming of a summer night With palm trees and sunny rays and sunflower fields We run away, we run away Hello everyone, we're back Last day of the week, day 7 I'm so excited you're all here. I'm Mel. We are doing crown chakra today. So thanks for being here. Coming into a comfortable seated position. Eyes are closed. And we're breathing in our intentions. Visualizing the color violets. Getting relaxed in our meditation. And imagine a glowing halo just above your head. Breathing ujjayi, pranayama, restricting the back of your throat to make an ocean-like sound. Good. Inhaling the arms to the sky. Exhale, pull the hands, samastitihi. Again, inhale up. Exhale, pull the energy down. Last time, inhale, pull the arms up to the sky. Exhale, pull hands to heart. Amazing. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started right away. Moving into hands and knees. Arching your back, looking up as you inhale. And then rounding the spine as you exhale. Moving through our cat and cow to your own breath. Moving as slow or as fast as you want. Good. Making it intentional. Linking our breath with our movement. So from here, you're going to roll yourself down onto your belly. Good. And then pushing your hips all the way back for child's pose. Good. Coming up onto your knees. Inhale again. Arms up. Exhale. Hands down. Dropping the chest into child's pose. So we're going to be doing a lot of fitness today. Let's get into the core right away. Go into your forearms. And we're pulsing front and back. Kind of like... Um, a forearm push-up and then we're going to make big circles with the hips starting in one position and then switching the direction good so we're working on that strength leading with the crown pushing through the earth through our fingertips our toes everything now from here we're in dolphin going back and forth into dolphin push-ups If you're interested or you really want to learn how to do inversions, these are the steps that you need to do to get them. You need to be strong, flexible, so just keep flowing with me and you'll be able to get them soon. So we're in downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal your knees, rocking your hips left and right. Make it feel good. This could be the first down dog of the day. And on your next inhale, tippy toe look forward and tippy toe walk all the way to the front of the mat inhale halfway lift exhale fold again inhale extend long straight back exhale forward fold last time reach and exhale fold slowly roll your spine one vertebrae at a time to standing go ahead and inhale the arms all the way up to the sky Exhale, pull hands to heart, samastitihi. Rolling the shoulder blades up and down your spine. Let yourself get goosebumps. Make yourself feel super good. Close your eyes, get into any muscle, breathe into any tight spots. And then go ahead and meet me in any forward folds. Good. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, jump or step your feet back to a high plank. Taking three deep juicy breaths, holding and squeezing the core, and then go ahead and roll slowly through a chaturanga, low push up, upward facing dog, and then push your hips to down dog. Keeping on your knees, inhale the arms up, slight back bend, and then exhale, push your hands down, your chest down to child's pose. Rolling back forward, coming into downward facing dog, dropping onto your elbows and going right back into those dolphin push-ups. Going forward and back, forward and back. This is what you need for pincha, mirasana. So just going front and back, strengthening your shoulders, 
If you have any shoulder problems, this is good for you to do too because it's also getting into the flexibility. So coming back into that forearm plank and then making your big hip circles, getting so good into the core and trusting in your faith with your body and your strength. Good, go ahead and come to forearms and then pushing your hands straight to down dog and then dropping the forearms. Going back and forth, you can bend one at a time, pushing through, making sure you feel your triceps, everything in your upper body, and then go ahead and hold downward facing dog. Good, inhale, look forward, tippy toes, exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway, exhale, fold. Slowly roll yourself all the way to standing. Come back, big back bend, elbows wide. And hands to heart center. So good. All right, keeping this fire going. You should be sweating. You're moving so much. Go ahead and meet me in a high plank. Going through, jumping through your feet to a high plank. And then this time we're going to drop onto one forearm at a time and then the other, and then press through the other hand and then go to high plank. So going back and forth, doing these plank push-ups. Good. Pushing through the shoulder blades, keeping the core and the butt squeezed. Just a few more. If you need to, you can drop onto your knees and do the same exact thing. You're still getting that good upper body, shoulders, traps, everything work out. And then when you're ready, go ahead and roll yourself through upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog. Good, right away, right leg lifts. Exhale, step the foot through, keeping the back knee lifted, inhale, crescent moon. Good, you can push your toe forward and back with the back foot, keeping the front leg at a 90 degree angle. Lifting out of your body, good. And then go ahead and swing the arms behind you as you crouch, and then inhale up. Keeping the front knee bent the whole time, go again. Wave the arms back, good, inhale up. Last time, wave the arms behind you and then use that leap of faith and extend through airplane. So you're just extending and straightening through that front leg, lifting the back leg up waving the arms out or bringing your hands to heart you can have a slight bend in the knee that's standing and then stand all the way up and cross your left ankle over your right knee into that figure four squat if you have the balance you can go ahead and try the twist taking the left arm outside of the left foot good or just hold this figure four squat Amazing, lift the knee up, come back to where you came from in that airplane, and then slowly step the leg back to crescent, dropping onto the back knee, big back bends. Coming forward, and then grab that top of the back foot. So for a quad stretch, kicking your butt, remembering to breathe, we're moving really fast. But we're gonna go through another little flow here. After you have a nice quad stretch, I'm going to have you straighten the front leg, Ardha Hamanasana, and then right away, bend back in the knee and grab the foot. Again, exhale as you fold, half split. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, come up. Good, really deep bends. And then from here, you're going to straighten both legs and fold into pyramid. This is a long flow. Keep it going, having a breath here, having a little break, and then go ahead and walk yourself all the way back to the back foot as you step back into your vinyasa. Keeping the leg lifted, adding a push-up if you'd like. Now remember, you can skip anything if you want and just come to down dog. I'm just showing you the more advanced. I promised everyone I would get harder towards the end of each week. With that being said, go ahead and lift the left leg up and step it through. Keep the back knee lifted, inhale, crescent warrior. Good, breathing, front knee is bent a lot. And then go ahead and wave the arms down and then inhale up. Good, exhale as you wave back, airplane arms. Good, inhale back up to the center, big breath. And then exhale, wave the arms back. 
last one inhale the arms up exhale wave for the airplane arms behind you and then jump yourself into airplane as you lift the right leg up if you lose your balance don't worry come back into it holding hands to heart and then pushing the left foot into the earth, really rooting it down. Go ahead and lift the right knee up as you cross it over for the figure four squat. Hands are at heart or to challenge your balance, go ahead and go for the twist to the left. Either elbow or arm outside of the foot, keeping the hips very low. Go ahead and stand right back up. Go back into the airplane. And then as slow as you can, go ahead and step it back, dropping onto the knee. Inhale up, back bend, good. Open up the hips, go ahead and bend the back knee, squeezing the foot to the butt, stretching into the hammies and the quads. And then we're gonna go back into that flow when you're ready. Straighten the left leg, Ardha Hamanasa. Inhale up, grab the foot, open up the hip. Exhale, fold and melt over the leg. Inhale back up, good. <sighs> fold, last time, inhale. Bend into the front knee, good. And then straighten both legs and melt into pyramid. This is so good for the thyroids, for the digestion. Go ahead and walk over to a wide-legged forward fold. You can grab both of your ankles or you can grab the ground beneath you. Good. Just be careful not to fall over. And then if you'd like, you can go ahead and drop your head down and lift into a headstand or a forearm stand of your pleasing. Trusting in yourself. We worked up, we definitely warmed up the shoulders and the core. So if you have this, you can try it. If not, you're just holding that forward fold. Taking any shapes that you'd like. Working with the top of your head through a sauna is a beautiful step to help clear the crown chakra. So making sure to really giving your crown some love and showing yourself that you trust yourself and that you can do anything. Good, coming back to the earth if you haven't already. Coming back to your breath and remembering those energies and that intention you sent for this chakra in this class and bringing it back into your consciousness. Rediscovering the power you have within yourself feeling relaxed and clear-headed. I want you to try one more inversion of your choice. I'm going to demonstrate forearm stand, kind of like what we were practicing for in the beginning of this class. Go ahead and do a few more dolphin push-ups going front and back. Wherever you are in your practice, go ahead and just try to lift one leg and kick. Try to kick up and get that balance. You do have the strength and the power to do anything you want. So put your mind to it. Wherever you are, try to hold, whether you're doing headstand, forearm stand, or if you don't have any of these in your practice, it's okay. Just go ahead and try to invert your legs up, even if it's against a wall. You can just have your legs up, trying to invert ourselves in any way, or shoulder stand, anything. But otherwise, if you're in forearm stand or supported headstand, Go ahead and breathe into your crown, recognizing that it holds so much power to hold yourself up. Speak kind things to yourself and love and have patience at wherever you are in your practice. If you want to go ahead and try to go into a forearm wheel and dropping into that back bend, dropping the feet down and just hold. I want you to be holding whatever you can in your practice. So no reason to compare or tell yourself, oh my God, I can't do something. Just tell yourself kind, beautiful, loving thoughts. I just want you to play with it and have fun. So wherever you are, go ahead and come down. Or if you are in any type of backbend, you can kick the legs over. 
but you're going to meet me laying on your back pulling your knees into your chest give yourself a big hug and then drop your knees over to the right as we go into a gentle spinal twist you can have your legs in eagle wrap or straight legs or bent wherever you are get into a nice spot and allow gravity to twist out the internal organs and any toxins that you may be holding. Slowly come back to the center and then switch sides, dropping the knees or the legs over to the left side, gazes to the right hand and twist it out. I hope you're feeling extremely relaxed and clear headed allowing this synergy between the physical and mental allow a deeper connection with the spiritual realm go ahead and bring your knees back to your chest open up for happy baby or grabbing the ankles or the outsides of the feet and just pull your knees to your armpits you can bend your knees and then straighten getting a little bit deeper <sighs> Go ahead and extend both legs to each corner of the mat. Hands are by your sides. Moving into Shavasana, our last resting pose. <sighs> Allowing yourself to just let go. You might be still so energetic and jittery, but try to relax the breath and relax the body. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, bringing life back into your body. You can pull your knees back in. Go ahead and rock onto one side, fetal position. This is our representation of rebirth in our yoga practice. So you came into this as one person and you're leaving it as a whole different new person with a higher frequency and a higher version of yourself. So in a comfortable seat, go ahead and close your eyes. Coming back to that visualization of the glowing halo above your head, imagine the radiance. This glowing light is your aura. It's your crown chakra. Let it rise up and shine right back into you. Begin to massage your scalp as your eyes are closed, sending love into your head. Working on finding any tightness or stagnation that can come to the surface. If we find the patience and the wisdom to sit with these things and watch it without judgment, we can start to understand the deeper lessons, the deeper meanings, and the deeper connections of everything that arises. We can let it go. So keep massaging yourself. I love to self-massage. It's so healing and it just feels really good, warm and fuzzy. Consciously begin to let anything go that no longer serves you. And by doing this, you will find ultimate freedom. Within the crown chakra, this means the freedom to deeply connect with everything. Amazing, my loves. You can blink your eyes open. Give yourself a smile, some love. Feeling incredible. I felt so good after giving myself this self-massage, so hopefully you do too. I truly am so grateful to have each and every one of you practice with me or even just watch my videos. You give me freedom to be able to share what I'm passionate about and for that, I'm forever grateful and I love you all. Bring the hands to your forehead, recognizing that beautiful crown of yours, that wisdom, that knowledge. Inhale the arms up, 
Last few breaths, pull the hands to heart. Again, inhale the arms up and pull it back down. Last time, inhale and exhale. Samasitihi, my loves. Namaste. I'll see you tomorrow. That was the end of day seven. That means day eight is tomorrow. Back with the root chakra. See ya. Mwah. Hey everyone, my name is Mel. Welcome back to my 30 day beach yoga challenge focused on the chakras. Today we are back to the crown chakra. This is the end of week two, so that means after today, you're halfway done. So beginning in a seated meditation, go ahead and close your eyes, tuning in on the crown, remembering that this energy center controls our connection to spirit and our sense of universal consciousness, wisdom, unity, and self-knowledge. Making the ocean-like sound in the back of your throat, tuning in to your personal, intimate relationship with the universe, being held, knowing that everything is happening perfectly in exact perfect timing for you bringing your hands to heart center bowing your chin setting an intention for the next 10 minutes and then go ahead and take three deep breaths as you inhale your arms to the sky pulling that energy back down to the heart good okay now take another inhale and then drop your right hand to the ground as you side bend your left arm over. Amazing, seated side bends. Inhale back up to the center and then exhale as you side bend to the left. Beautiful, coming up through the center and then taking a twist towards the right. Keeping your spine long, go ahead and switch sides. Inhale to the center and then exhale as you twist. Right, inhale one more time, and then exhale, walk your hands forward, draping your beautiful heart over your legs, leading with your crown. Slowly roll yourself out of this fold, and right away you're going to come into Navasana Boat Pose. So first, try to find your balance. You can keep your knees bent at a 90 degree angle. If you wanna challenge yourself today and straighten your legs, you can do so. Using your low belly, act as if there's a string pulling from your chest up to the sky, feeling strong. And then go ahead and lower halfway down. Amazing. And then lift, good. Lower halfway. Again, come up to the high boat. Lower half boat. Good. And then this time, lift up and then cross your ankles, shooting your feet behind you to a high plank, holding for a breath, and then lowering slowly all the way to your chest. You can add in a push up or two if you'd like, adding some strength, or just go right onto your belly. Moving into three rounds of rolling cobras. So you're going to slowly lift your chest and then lower. Inhale as you lift, exhale as you lower. Keeping your feet planted, good. Going out ahead and pushing to full upward facing dog. You can rock your hips left and right if you'd like or if it feels good. And then curl your toes under, pushing yourself to downward facing dog. So we're gonna be holding this down dog for a minute. So go ahead and pedal your heels, get comfortable. Breathing into any tight spots. You can go ahead and go to your tippy toes and then push your heels down a few times. On your next inhale, tippy toes, look forward Bend the knees and either step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale halfway, exhale fold, and then go ahead and open up your toes wide, knees are wide, and sit into a yogi squat, malasana. Inhale, open up the arms for a twist. You can go ahead and grab the bind behind the back if you have it in your practice. And then exhale, hands to heart, 
and then change sides. Inhale, go for that bind, or just open arm twist, gazes to the sky. Amazing, hands back to heart. We're going to go for crow pose. So you're going to place the knees on the back of your elbows or into your armpits. And if you don't get up right away, that's okay. Just try to lift one foot at a time. Or if you have the crow pose, you can also try to go into headstand. Whatever you have in your practice, go ahead and practice it now. It's really amazing to connect and focus on the crown chakra while doing headstands and inversions because you have all that energy pushing through the crown into the earth beneath you. And when you're doing inversions, all you have to do is be purely in the moment because you have to breathe and focus to stay up there and not fall. So wherever you are, holding any kind of shape that you'd like, and if you want to challenge yourself, you can place your knees back on your elbows and try to press back to crow pose. Ooh, try it. And then when you're ready, try to shoot your feet back or step it back and come onto your belly. Right away, open yourself up to the right, planting your right arm down onto the ground flat. That way you have a nice front of your chest stretch and shoulder stretch on the right side as well as getting a nice little twist. Rolling back through center, and then changing sides, extending the left arm out to a T, rolling open onto that left side, and twisting it out. Breathe. Keeping today's flow super simple, super fast. Amazing. Go ahead and bring your right knee to the right elbow. Breathing into your hip. Breathing into this half frog, allowing your mind and your body to become still, slowing down. So good. From here, you're just going to push up onto your hands and you're going to swim your left arm underneath your body and open up your right arm so you're coming into a spinal twist. Both arms are at a T, or you can grab your leg. Breathing and allowing gravity to do the work here. Getting out anything stagnant inside your spine or your digestive system. And then coming back to where you came from onto your belly, pushing your right leg back and then changing sides. So bringing your left knee up towards your armpit, resting your head down and then breathing. Allowing any messages that your crown chakra wants to send you right now. If you need to slow down or let go of something that recently happened, physically or mentally. All right, opening up for the twist. So swimming right arm under and opening up the left arm. Gaze is to the left. Arms are to a T and breathe. Slowing it down allowing the gravity to push yourself deeper, slowing down the breath. Amazing. <sighs> Good. Coming back to where you came from, rolling onto your belly, and go ahead and push the hips back to child's pose. Hips are over your ankles, knees are wide, the Sanskrit name for the crown chakra literally means thousand petals. So treat your crown as a thousand petals, knowing that it holds so much beauty, especially when you're aligned with your purpose. Breathing in, breathing out. Make your way up to a seated meditation. Hands are your heart center, bow your chin. In gratitude hopefully you're feeling a little bit more connected to your crown and more at ease taking it slower today just connecting your head to the earth and to your kind thoughts this beautiful aura that you have connecting the bottom chakras to the upper chakras two weeks in a row thank you guys so much for watching and practicing with me 
Namaste, my loves. I will see you tomorrow. Back to Root Chakra. Hey, everyone. It's Mel. Welcome back to my 30-day beach yoga challenge focused on the chakras. Today, we're back on the crown chakra. So go ahead and find a comfortable seat. Begin to massage your scalp. Close your eyes. Make it feel good. Sending all of our energy and our metta to our crown. Good. Inhale the arms up to the sky. Go ahead and pull the energy back to the heart. Good. Bring your hands to your forehead. Pulling in the energy. Focusing on calling in connection to the spirit, your wisdom, and self-knowledge. Visualizing the color violet while we go through our flow. Go ahead and drop the right hand to the ground and side bend over with your left arm. Go ahead, change sides. Amazing, nice little side bends. And then go ahead and inhale the arms up and twist to the right. Amazing, move back through the center and then exhale as you change sides. Beautiful. When you are ready, go ahead and come onto hands and knees, moving the spine through some cat and cows, going up and down. So as you inhale, you're arching your back, looking up, and then as you exhale, push your shoulder blades apart. Good, going through this about three times to your own breath. Beautiful breaths, linking breath to movement, this entire flow. And then go ahead and drop your chest to the ground, reaching your arms forward for puppy, so your hips are directly above your knees. This is different than child's pose. Go ahead and bend one knee at a time and try to grab the foot. It's a little difficult, but it feels pretty juicy, so go ahead and try it. Amazing, and then when you're ready, go ahead and roll yourself forward for upward facing dog, and then meet me in child's pose for just a breath. <sighs> so good. We're going to be leading with our scalp today. So long spine, roll yourself forward for Sphinx Pose. Your forearms are on the ground. You can go ahead and roll out your neck, your shoulders, making neck circles or just looking left and right. Amazing. And then go ahead and use your core strength to come to a plank on your elbows. You're going to be going left and right five times each side. So use your core, getting into the obliques shining your forehead straight your spine is long beautiful and from here walk your toes up so you're in a dolphin plank so your hips are up and then we're going to be going back and forth 10 times building the strength of our shoulders our forearms our whole body so just go back and forth this is amazing training for pincha or forearm stand as well as any kind of inversion. Okay, after you've done 10, make your way to a downward facing dog by pushing through your hands, pedaling out your heels, getting out any kinks you may have. Amazing. And we're going through a push-up chaturanga flow. So you're rolling forward to upward facing dog. And then from here, curl the toes under, do a push up, and then make your way through to down dog again. So we're doing this about two or three more times. You can change it up by rolling forward and then doing the push up first, or just going right into the upward facing dog, doing the push up, and then just pushing your hips to down dog. Amazing. Building strength today, building heat. You should be sweating, feeling energized. Amazing. Doing that flow one more time. Roll your body forward, making yourself into a wave with your body. Going through upward facing dog and then throwing in a push up for the strength. Okay, next up, I want you to go back and forth between doing twisted down dog. So this is going to open up your low back if you have any sciatic issues 
in your core. Just go back and forth between twisting, looking underneath your armpit, and feeling this nice deep stretch in your side bodies. On your next inhale, tippy toes, bend your knees, and either step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand all the way up, reaching the arms as high as they can go to the sky, and then pull the hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Good. Grabbing the clasp behind your back, go for the bind, opening up the shoulders and your back. Releasing the mind, plant the hands, and then step your feet back. Chaturanga. Good. Hips are to the sky. From here, right leg lifts right away. We're doing three nose taps. So knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lifts. Last time, squeeze, and then go ahead and go for five knee drops. So you're dropping your shin to the ground and then pulsing it to your nose, building up the core and then step it through to warrior one. Good, long spine, 90 degree angle on the front leg. Then go ahead and swing the arms behind you. Inhale, back up. Again, exhale, swing the arms behind you. Bow your chest. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Strong T with your arms. Flip the front palm, reverse your warrior. And then circle your arms down for a dragonfly twist. So twisting open. You can drop onto your back knee if you want. Go deeper into the hips. Amazing. And then circle the hands down. Step the foot back, vinyasa. Good, going right into the left side, moving swift today. Going for your three nose taps to three-legged dog. Go to your own breath, squeezing, rounding the core under. Try to tap your nose and then drop the shin down and tap five times. Good. After the five, step the foot through, drop onto the back heel. Inhale, warrior one. All right, swinging the arms down as you drop the chest inside of the leg. And then inhale back up. Again, exhale, swing the arms behind you. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Flip the front palm, reverse the warrior. Beautiful. And then circle the arms down, dragonfly twist. Making sure to lead with the crown. You're lifting out of your shoulders, out of your spine, relaxing everything while keeping firm. Move through your vinyasa, coming to child's pose. Good, just taking a couple breaths. Amazing. And then go ahead and step yourself back up, down dog. Looking forward, tippy toes, bend the knees, step or float to the top of the mat. If you have a handstand, you can try to jump into a handstand. Whatever you'd like to get to the top of the mat. Meeting me in a forward fold. Beautiful. And then go ahead and drop your hips into chair pose. Right away, pull your hands to heart and then twist to the right. Keeping low in the chair. Amazing. Come through center, switch sides. Twist to the left. Inhale, stay low. And then from here, you're going to plant the hands and try to bring the knees on the back of your arms for crow pose. You can either hold here or if you don't have it, just keep trying. If you do have a headstand in your practice, you can move from crow to headstand and make any shape that you'd like. It's so beautiful to connect the crown to the earth while focusing on the crown chakra. So make sure you're really sending your head love and using your strength to pull out of the neck. Coming to the ground gracefully into Malasana. Beautiful. We're moving into our last set of postures in our asana practice. We're going to be doing the standing ashtanga series. So meet me in a forward fold and then go ahead and roll your body to stand. 
bringing your hands to heart center, moving to Hasta Padagustasana, so grabbing your peace fingers with one of your big toes. We can start with your left foot going forward. Beautiful. And then go ahead and swing the leg open like a door into Utista Hasta Padagustasana. Beautiful. If you don't have the flexibility, you can always bend your knee and hold your leg. Beautiful. Coming back through center, extending the leg out. Good. For the twist, dancing Shiva. Amazing. And then go ahead and try to fold down and touch your knee to your nose. Amazing. Go ahead and drop that, shake it out, and let's go ahead and change sides. Again, extending the peace fingers out with the big toe, leg is straight. Opening it up, beautiful, extended hand to toe. If you shake or fall out of it, just try to get right back into it. Beautiful, go ahead and switch your hands. Going open for the twist, dancing Shiva. Gaze could be towards the back hand. And then go ahead and try to grab both your hands onto your foot and bring your knee to your nose. Beautiful. All right, shake that out. Inhale the arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Beautiful, inhale, last chaturanga. Plant the hands, shoot the feet back. And inhale, upward facing. Exhale, open the knees wide. Pushing your hips back to your ankles for child's pose. Amazing. Rolling yourself up. Go ahead and close your eyes. Moving into a seated meditation. Hands can be to your heart or your forehead. Sending yourself loving thoughts. By understanding the power of this chakra, you can shift your whole entire collective consciousness towards a more holistic understanding of being connected to the universe. So go ahead and take three more deep breaths, feeling relaxed, feeling clear headedness, increased synergy between your physical, mental, and spiritual realms. Beautiful, my loves. Go ahead and inhale your arms up to the sky and pull the hands down slowly again inhale arms to the sky reach 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 exhale hands to heart again inhale up exhale pull the hands down beautiful i hope you feel so connected to your crown i hope you feel amazing after three full weeks of focusing on the chakras we have one more week left of this challenge, so stay tuned. I will see you again tomorrow to go back down to the root chakra. Namaste, my loves. The light and student in me honors and sees the light and student in each and every one of you. Namaste, my loves. Hey, everyone. It's Mel. Welcome back to my 30-day beach yoga challenge focused on the chakras. I'm just gonna have you use a pillow or a towel or a blanket, something underneath your neck to start. We're working on our crown chakra today, um, just meditating through manifesting a deeper connection to spirit, wisdom, unity, and self-knowledge. So go ahead and start on your back. You can plant your feet on the ground, knees up. From here you can Open up your knees wide, keeping your feet together for a Sudha Baddha Konasana, bringing your arms by your sides or over your ears behind you, and just go ahead and breathe into this pose. Letting go of whatever happened today, letting go of whatever you need to do later or after this video, and just be purely in the moment. Set your intentions for the next 15 minutes, pulling for the fourth time all seven chakras together and ending at the very top of your head. Go ahead and move the towel or blanket underneath your hips or your glutes and then go ahead and extend the legs straight in front of you 
for a nice big stretch like you're waking up in the morning. So your arms are over your ears, your toes are pointed down, beautiful. Go ahead and come back into the Sudha Baddha Konasana with a prop underneath your sacrum, so your lowest back, and then breathe. You can place your hands on your thighs or your hips, sending them love, and then visualize a crown floating above your head as if it is your crown chakra aura. And from there, you're just going to Visualize a light beaming from that area all the way down to the bottom of your root chakra and then back up. So just moving that energy up and down. Good. Go ahead and drop both knees over to the left for a gentle spinal twist. Gaze is to the right. And then slowly switch sides by dropping your knees to the right, gazing to the left. Amazing. Go ahead and come back to the center, extending both of the legs to the sky, and then pointing and flexing through your feet. Just warming up the ankles, the toes, the tops of the feet, and the back of the feet, as well as feeling into your quads and your calves. Amazing. After a few rounds, go ahead and plant your hands by your sides, and then slowly drop the legs hovering about an inch above the mat going slowly down and you can still keep that blanket or pillow underneath your hips or sacrum it helps you keep your low back pushed down good and then we're going to go through just a few rounds of this warming up our core center getting into that fire and making sure you breathe and link your breath to your movements Relaxing your knees down, go ahead and lift your hips up for a bridge posture. You can go ahead and throw the blanket or the pillow, holding at the top for a breath, and then lower down slowly. Again, lift your hips up to the sky, and then lower. Taking another round, beautiful. Lower down. And keep this going for about 10 times. All right, now you're going to hold the bridge at the very top the next time you go up. You can even plant the hands underneath your low back to help assist you to get a little higher. Amazing. And then lower the hips back down. Pull the knees in to your chest, giving yourself a little squeeze, rocking on your back, left and right. And then roll yourself up to a seat, crossing over your ankles, coming to hands and knees. Moving through a few rounds of cat and cow, inhaling, looking up, and then exhaling, looking down. Arch the back as you inhale, and then curl the tailbone under as you exhale. Beautiful, coming to a neutral spine, and then inhale the left arm up to the sky, and then cross it underneath your body for thread the needle. You can take your right hand up to the sky and then reach it over your ear behind you for a nice, beautiful stretch. Twisting it out, feeling it in your shoulders, in your back, and breathe. last inhale big exhale and then coming out of it exactly how you came in waving the left arm to the sky planting it next to your right and then go ahead and change sides so right arm lifts and then thread it underneath your body left arm reaches over your ear so you can get a deeper twist a deeper stretch in the shoulders and the back
last breath inhale and then exhale come out of it exactly how you came in beautiful and from here curl the toes under and lift your knees just one inch off the ground holding here squeezing your core the crown is reaching forward neck is long beautiful one last breath and then exhale push the hips up to the sky downward facing dog you can go ahead and pedal your heels make it feel juicy feel super nice you should feel so connected so aligned throughout your whole entire body after four weeks of doing these yoga flows while focusing on each chakra so go ahead and open up the legs um, wider than the mat very wide and then go ahead and inhale the right arm to the sky put it behind your back into the bind beautiful nice stretch and then changing sides waving the left arm up wave it behind the back good getting into the hamstrings lots of twists today beautiful and then from here walk your hands back out so you're in a wide-legged downward facing dog and then walk the feet together tippy toe as you inhale looking forward and then tippy toe all the way up to the top of the mat inhale halfway lift exhale crouch and curl into a big ball while you're balancing on your toes you can grab your shins beautiful trusting in your intuition in your wisdom today you've got this dropping your knees down and then go ahead and side bend to the right coming back to the center inhale the arms up exhale side bend to the left good bring your arms up and then exhale hands to heart center go ahead and come back into that crouched ball and then you can even come back onto your butt keeping your hands behind you and then go for modified knees in and knees out so you're straightening your legs and then you're pulling the knees into your chest taking this a few rounds to your breath and then coming back into that ball go ahead and exhale to forward folds and inhale stand tall arms are to the sky exhale hand to the heart again inhale arms to the sky and then exhale forward folds beautiful warming up the spine leading with your crown and then go ahead and step back into down dog pedal your heels again open up the feet super wide keeping in that down dog you're going to grab your left hand for the outside of the right ankle for a nice twisted down dog gaze is over your right armpit beautiful changing directions go ahead and take your right hand outside of the left ankle twisting open gorgeous coming back through center bring your feet together beautiful and then take a couple breaths starting again at the top of your mat step or hop all the way up to the top of the mat inhale halfway exhale crouch and curl grabbing your shins balance for a breath beautiful dropping your knees down inhale your arms up and then go for your side bends right and left after you've done both sides coming back into that crouch and then dropping onto your butt hands are behind you going ahead and pulling the knees into your chest a few times working through your core feeling super strong today meeting me in malasana yogi squat knees are wide you're balancing you can rock left and right beautiful breathing in breathing out and then take the bind behind the back if you can on the left side so your left arm reaches in front of the left shin and then your right arm goes behind your back changing sides right arm in front of the right shin taking the left arm behind your back beautiful stand all the way into a standing forward fold hips are up and then stand all the way up reaching your arms to the sky samastiti inhale arms up 
exhale forward fold beautiful coming down onto the mat reaching your right leg out long your left foot is inside of the thigh inhale the arms up and then turn to pivot towards that right foot for Janyu Sirsasana head to knee pose you're just draping yourself over that strong straight leg coming back into those intentions for your crown chakra energetically this chakra is directly rooted with the root chakra which is why i'm doing a lot of root rooted poses today with lots of hip openers and staying kind of rooted and grounded to the earth they are the start and the finish of the chakras all right rolling yourself up changing sides extending the left foot long big inhale big exhale again these chakras are working so well together as long as you work on opening and cleansing them everything will work so well together not only will your physical spiritual and mental systems be working in your best interest but your brain and nervous system will also be working at its highest potential. <sighs> Beautiful, you guys. One more breath. Go ahead and roll yourself out of that. Going right into the last posture of the flow, our resting Shavasana. So slowly coming onto your back, extending your legs out long, arms are by your sides and take rest. to wiggle your fingers and your toes extending both legs out your arms are over your ears bringing your knees to your chest giving yourself a hug beautiful coming up to a comfortable seated position as slow as you want Beautiful, rolling through fetal pose, if that's calling for you. It's like a rebirth, feeling extra connected to the earth and the world around you, feeling super present. Go ahead and make your way up to a seated meditation. Last few breaths, honoring your body, your mind, your spirit. Feeling so grateful for showing up today, doing the work mentally and physically. Inhale through the nose, open the mouth, exhale. <sighs> Again, inhale and exhale. <sighs> Namaste, my loves. That's all I have for you today. I hope you loved the flow. We just have two more videos left of this 30-day challenge and I'm dedicating tomorrow for all of the lower chakras and then the next day for all of the higher chakras. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching. Mwah.